question for you. If you could pick one Spider-Man to be your Spider-Man, who would it be? There's Peter Parker, there's Miles Morales, there's uh, Miguel O'Hare. Is that his name? Yep. The Spider-Man That's, uh, yeah, Spider-Man 2099. There's Otto Octavius and there's Ben Riley. Who would you pick to be? Who is the best Spider-Man in your opinion? Put you on the spot right now. Who's the best Spider-Man? The one Who's... and only Peter Parker Spider-Man. Like, uh, yeah, like, uh, what can I say? I grew up with this guy. He's going to, you know, he's, 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 uh, he, 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 he he's, he's the main he's, arachnid kid. He's your boy? Well, he's your boy. What about you? Mine? Don't tell me Otto Octavius because I'll have to boot you out of the stream. I better okay. choose somebody else. <laughs> Okay, Miguel. No, <laughs> I, I do like Otto Octavius because his story was just so compelling when he was uh, the superior Spider-Man. Um, he swapped bodies with Peter Parker, and then he had to be Spider-Man, so he always tried to be better. And his struggles with being a supervillain, but now he's got to be a superhero. It was just something that... Uh, I really enjoyed, and it was a well-written series, but yes. I didn't, I didn't like him. And he did do a lot of things better than than Spider-Man, but yes. he can't replace Peter. Nobody can. Yes, but guess what? In my opinion, Ben Riley is pretty damn close to replacing Peter Parker. He is pretty cool. He is, and I, I have a confession to make. I don't really know who Ben Riley is. I never read any of the stuff Ben Riley's been in, except the new Amazing Spider-Man run. I know who I know he's the clone of yep. Peter Parker. Um, I got that knowledge from uh, the Amazing Spider-Man TV show in the '90s. Yeah, um, but I never knew who Ben Riley was except the clone of Peter Parker. Well, that's who he is. Like he he was the clone, and then he had to basically um, create and and fill in a life for himself, right? So. Uh... Yeah. There are so many parallels between uh, Ben Riley and Peter Parker. Like, uh, Ben Riley's a down on his luck uh, barista, I believe. Or, bar sorry, barista, not bartender. Uh, yeah. He works at a coffee joint and he serves coffee to people and he listens to uh, their problems. When uh, one geeky guy comes in in this panel here and he's like, I like old movies and no one likes old movies. And he's like, Well, I like old movies. He's like, what? You like old movies? Look at you. you like old movies. But he seems more heartfelt than Peter Parker, if that makes sense in this story. Um, we see him. Uh, I don't know if this is an Elseworld story, if it's a different universe, but uh, he's taking over for Peter Parker because Peter Parker left with uh, MJ to uh, Portland. Is that main continuity or is that a different i think this yeah this would have been um part in the past where the where where when mary and uh when mary jane and peter were married they did move and i think this was around um the time where mary jane was supposed to be pregnant or something but uh yeah no this was definitely i remember this time so it's not current current continuity is not taking place today because right now ben riley is in the amazing spider-man and he's the endorsed Spider-Man of the Beyond Corporation. Uh, but it is so our universe, right? It is, yes. It's it's the same universe. It's not a multiverse thing, yeah. Interesting, because they mentioned that uh, Mary Jane is pregnant with a baby. Yeah. So what happened to that baby? I don't know. But oh, anyways. Wow, that, was, that was quite a story. But uh, oh. we'll save that for another day. <laughs> <laughs> Got to get caught up on my uh, Spider-Man uh, lore. Yeah. But uh, Ben Riley, he just seems more heartfelt. Um, he's taken over for uh, Peter Parker. Peter Parker's in Portland. He's like, don't worry, I'll cover New York City. Well, you enjoy life. You deserve it. If anybody deserves it, it's you, Peter Parker. So he becomes the new Spider-Man. He meets Spider-Man's rose. There's a scorpion there. Um, we don't get to see him tussle with Scorpion, but we do get to see a little image of Scorpion. There is one character we see, uh, Car Carry On. Carry on. Yep. Does he sound familiar? Yep. Um. So he's called to a scene where he's got to fight this carry on character, uh, Malcolm, right? That's his real name. Um. So he's fighting Malcolm, and he does something I've never seen a Spider-Man do. And that's what I like about this character. 
he uh, takes a different approach to the yep. situation. He's punching him, and then he says, wait a minute. And I won't go into any more detail, but um, after this one issue, I think I like this Ben Riley series more than the main Amazing Spider-Man series. Wow. After one issue. That's, after, that's, that's after my one phrase. Issue. I know you yep. do like your Amazing Spider-Man, so uh, that's yes. cool. This issue is very... Uh, it's got a lot of heart. And um, there's a scene where he goes to uh, Ravencroft mm -hmm. and he's asking about the uh, villains. He's like, I, I want to know what, what's going on. Do they, uh, are you guys just shoving pills down their throat saying behave? Or like, how does their therapy work? It's just interesting. It seems like his trauma of being a clone and not having anywhere to fit in in life is making him more heartfelt Spider Man. Yeah. And, and, and of course, you mentioned it. When he fights Spider-Man's rogues, a lot of times, this is his first time fighting them, so he doesn't know what to expect, so he comes up with different ways. So yeah, he was a very, in, 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 he used a lot of ingenuity. You know, he had different ways to use his um, webbing. He had, like, impact webbing and web darts and stuff like that. So you've got a lot to look forward to uh, in this particular uh, series. If you do like Ben Riley, you're going to see a lot of cool things with it. And, and I'll re remind me, the next time we're at the store, I'll show you some of uh, Ben Riley's other books. Because I Yes, think so I was going to ask you, what is the best Ben Riley story, in your opinion? Oh, man. If he's my favorite Spider-Man now, and I, I'm pushing Peter Parker out the door... What is the best okay. story to read? I, I I've know got the Clone Saga is. Spot. I've got a soft spot for the Spider-Man Backlash uh, crossover. It was a two-issue, two-part series with Marvel and Image, and it was a Ben Riley Spider-Man in that. That was a pretty cool series. Um, Love the art by Brett Brett Booth. You probably know him from the guy who was doing Flash for a little bit. Uh, so I think you'd probably like that one. So uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. And I think they also did. A Ben Riley, uh, Batman and a Spider Man uh, crossover yeah. too. So I'll, I'll see if I still have that as well. So lots of lots of cool Ben Riley stuff. But yeah, he was Spider Man for a little while during that uh, Portland time and, and and stuff. So it was pretty cool. As always, thank you for tuning in and continue to check us out. Heroes World online. That is where you're going to find us. All kinds of content and remember. Please, if you can, like, subscribe, tell a friend, help us spread the word.